Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how I'm gonna hang my Samsung 32 inch monitor to the wall using this slim VESA mount that I got from Amazon. So let me first open the VESA mount. So it has a screw here that I want to remove first. It's not very tight, I'm gonna remove it by my hand. So remove this from this and then I'm gonna put this on the monitor and this will go on the wall. And the VESA mount is provided with many screws. The screws that I'm going to use for me are the small screws here that are the T1 screws. It is very important to see what screws go into your monitor so that you don't break the monitor if the screw is too long. So here I'm going to try to see if the T1 screws are good for me. So you see they stop before going all the way. So I'm going to use these washers here. So they won't go all the way and that will not break my monitor. So use the T4 here washers and you will also need the T3 washers. So the T3 washers will go on top. I'm gonna show you all this when I put it together. So I'm gonna put the T4 washers here like this, the four of them. The VES amount of my Samsung monitor is 10 centimeters, which is 100 millimeters. The monitor top is here and the narrow opening should be on top. So align it like this here and then you need the T3 washers and it goes here and the screw goes here. So put it with your hand first and let's put the opposite one here and this is the last one here. And now with the Phillips head screwdriver tighten them one opposite of the other. So diagonally, always diagonally, never over tighten them just a little bit otherwise you might break the, your monitor and this here is enough so this is a monitor preparation now I need to prepare the wall let me show you so the wall you need to find a stud and here I already mounted a camera so I know that my stud is here but if you don't know where the stud is you can use a stud finder like this one and I'm gonna leave a link in the description on how to use it it is really very easy to use so first install the base on the monitor so slide it in so this is how it will install on the wall and now you need to measure from the screw hole exactly in the middle of it measure to the top of the monitor and here i have 24.5 centimeters i want to install my monitor just a little bit below the base of my camera mount so i'm gonna put it just half a centimeter below exactly in the middle and then at the 24 point five centimeter mark I'm gonna put a mark here so this is where I'm gonna drill the hole the VESA mount comes with these two big screws and it also comes with these here in case you need them but because I'm drilling on the stud I don't need these I'm gonna use a 764 drill bit and it's very important to wear glasses in case something flies you don't want it to fly into your eyes now what you need to do is to put the first screw here, make the drill a little bit loose so that you don't lose grip here. So this is enough and now you need to put the other screw here and here you cannot use the leveler because it is curved so put the leveler here and make sure that it is on the middle exactly. And the good thing about this is that even if you don't get it right, you have here a wiggle room. So the hole should be here. Do not tighten it because you need to make sure it is leveled before you tighten it. And now it is leveled. So now you can tighten it. Do not over tighten it. So this is enough. So now it is installed. And now all you need to do is to slide the screen in but before sliding the screen in make sure that all the cables are attached to the back of the screen because it would be difficult afterwards to attach them something i didn't account for here is that when i wanted to slide the screen in the camera mount neck came in the way 
because there is not too much space between the camera mount and the top of the screen. So I just removed the camera neck and then the screen slided very easily. So here it is installed here and you see really like the space between the back of the screen and the wall is really minimal. What you still need to do here is to put the screw here in the bottom. So I'm gonna do this now. It's not easy so I laid on my back on the floor and I have a magnetized screwdriver which helps a lot and just align it and put it in. By the way, if you want to check out this VESA mount, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will help my channel greatly. I want to thank you all for watching my video and I hope that my video will help you in installing the VESA mount. I'm Eloy. See you in the next video.